Hello everyone, welcome to Tech in 5 Minutes. There is no doubt that databases are a crucial element of any IT system. You may also know there are two main types of databases, relational and non-relational. But could you tell the core difference between them? Let's take a closer look. What's a relational database? A relational database is a database that forms relations between tables that store data on specific entities. A relational database uses SQL, Structured Query Language. What's a non-relational database? No SQL databases are more flexible because the data on the object isn't limited to the same table. Non-relational databases use columns and rows to enter types of data and its values, and identify objects with keys. Now let's look into pros and cons of each type based on the Jelvix team experience. Advantages of a relational database. Simplicity, data accuracy, as you need to sort through every piece of data, easy access to data, data integrity, as all entries are checked on their validity. Flexibility, you can create new relations between tables without violating the existing data structure. And of course, security. By the way, if you'd like to know more about ensuring software security, check the link in the description box. We have a good guide on the topic. Getting back to relational databases, it is important to mention their cons. They may have performance issues. Its setup could take a long time, and there is no support for complex data types. As for advantages of a non-relational database, we can think of handling unstructured data, agility, teams can quickly update documents, readability, when you need to get all data on a user, it's enough to open an individual document. There's no need to shift between multiple tables. Most NoSQL solutions are open source. Disadvantages of a non-relational database are dependency on a specific database management system, limited functionality, and hiring difficulties. Let's now see the examples of relational databases. First comes MySQL. MySQL is used by many content management systems including WordPress, Drupal, Joomla, and is perhaps the most popular relational database. It is also used by YouTube, Flickr, Twitter, and lots of projects our team handles. Some of MySQL functionality include performance monitoring, support of Linux, Windows, macOS and other systems, password encryption, and great performance of up to 50 million data rows. Though it is an excellent tool, it has some disadvantages, including slow data traction, and weak debugging algorithms. Microsoft SQL Server. Its main functionality include in-memory analytics, by semantic model, customization capabilities, integration with Oracle databases, error management, and others. Its disadvantages are expensive licensing plans, Windows-based servers only, Oracle database. Oracle hosted its database in the cloud, it is mainly used to transition to cloud computing and run cloud computing for web projects. This database provides four levels of data transaction protection. Group transactions, real application cluster that allows connecting many servers to the same database, and multi-OS support. It does have its cons, namely, high price. It's difficult to find an Oracle database development team, and it's not so easy to learn and use. By the way, People often say that Oracle's is the most complicated database to use. Do you agree with that statement? Share your thoughts in the comments. IBM DB2 IBM's DB2 is one of the oldest and most mature relational database solutions. Its key functionality include powerful SQL modification, efficient memory handling, and support of IBM infrastructure. Its disadvantages? It requires a lot of necessary add-ons to unlock its full functionality. The free IBM support is only available for the first three years, then it becomes paid. Let's now move on to the examples of non-relational databases. The first one here is MongoDB. This is the most popular non-relational database, and our team uses it often too. Its functionality include the support of various data types and the ability to distribute data automatically between different servers. MongoDB also boasts fast performance. Among its disadvantages, we'd like to mention that MongoDB requires more memory increasingly. There is no control of duplication. And finally, we are noticing the lack of documentation. The next database is DocumentDB. It's managed and developed by Amazon. 
The database service can be integrated with MongoDB. Also, it provides database migration, monitoring capabilities, automatic updates, and automatic storage increases. As for disadvantages, Amazon Document DB is very similar to MongoDB, so it also shares the same drawbacks. There's also no control of duplication, scarce educational resources, and the database isn't organized well. It's possible that as your project scales, documents will become a lot messier. Next, Cassandra. It was created by the Facebook team. It is known for its scalability, support of unstructured, structured, and semi-structured data, and the support for multiple data centers. On the other hand, it has no ACID support and aggregate support, and also latency problems. Cassandra is not good at reading high volumes of data simultaneously. So how can you choose a database? To make it easier, we prepared four questions based on our own experience. What type of data will you be analyzing? If you are working with a lot of factual and numeric data, the SQL database will be a good bet. However, if your application is handling a large amount of messy data, you need to pick a flexible solution that doesn't prioritize structure over performance. How much data are you dealing with? If you are dealing with huge amounts of data, a non-relational database is a better choice. Are you ready to invest time and budget in the setup of your database? If you are ready to invest early on the project, you can choose an SQL solution. It's harder to set up, but later on, it pays off. Non-relational databases, on the contrary, are easier to set up, but when it comes to long-term support, you need to be sure that you have a reliable vendor. Do you need real-time data? If you are working with real-time data, no SQL databases will provide you with more flexibility and save a lot of time on the input stage. To conclude, the choice between relational and non-relational databases depends on your project's priorities and team skills. If you are in a struggle, Jelvix database experts can help you make a choice. Moreover, we offer a wide range of services, such as software development, UI UX design, testing, and IT consulting. Find our contact information in the description box. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, share this video if you think it was useful, and subscribe to our channel. See you.